Okay, welcome back to Tony's Board Life. I'm Tony. We are on to turn two. We'll see how many don't have we'll see how many turns we can get done this, with this real quick um, using the uh, solo cards um, uh, for the German. Uh, we've moved up the armored, the 451st, 451st armor uh, up. The uh, infantry did not get activated so hopefully they well they will get activated this turn before the end turn comes in but i guess we just need to get started so we're gonna go ahead and uh draw a first card <laughs> it's the end turn <laughs> so yeah that, that that'll be good okay so 216th okay so we can take this and then this end turn now goes in to these few cards here So we need to check for in command. We are, I do have one unit that is disrupted. So I'll need to roll two dice. Um, it's six, but it is plus two. So I need an eight or less and I got a three. So either way, they are no longer disrupted and we are good to go. Now we can activate these units. Basically, all we're going to do is move through. Uh, the beach is one for infantry. Right, the beach is one for soft targets, which is all the infantry. And the uh, hill is plus one. I don't think... So one, two, that's not going to do anything. And this guy can't see him. One, two, you can't see him. One, mm, he can see him. So we'll draw a card. So this will be, so this guy has, oh, there's a mortar there. Oh, I was going to check on something. So I had thought that the mortars were support units. They're not actually support units. Uh, they are their own unit on that because they have their own movement. So they can fire. So he's going to see if he can fire, if he's going to fire opportunity fire at this engineer right here. Because it's one, two, three, four, uh, which would be point blank range. So, yep, we're going to fire. So in this case, I get two dice and they hit on four. Five hit hit on four, hit on fours, and we got one hit. So that unit is disrupted, and that guy is ops complete, right there. Okay, with that, um, so then we do have that infantry unit. So this guy is going to move one. And then, so that's two. So we'll be looking at the blue. Nope, no fire. Three, or one, two, which is two. So we'll be looking at the yellow. And there is a fire, so opportunity fire for sure. It's got two dice on five. Ah, two hits. So it is flipped. And disrupted. So this guy. Oh no, he and but now he is ops complete for this turn here. Uh, this guy can't see anything at all infantry wise. So at this point, we'll have to pull any. Right. Whoa. 
Oh, jeez. Okay, I think I got that back. <laughs> so this guy's got three. He can see. Um, so, but this guy's going to move his one, two, three. This guy, one, two. They can't get up here yet. This guy, um, one, two. This guy, one, two. Let's see, this is going to be extended range. He can see. So that'd be extended range. No blue. So he does not opportunity fire. This guy right here is going to go one two and then three again this guy's going to see if he opportunities fires nope so nothing there okay so those are all ops complete which i should have been putting them on anyways Okay, so that's that one. So let's go ahead. We are going to pull the next card. Oh, we got the armor here. We're going to put... You know what? I think that... I think that was that way. I can't remember. One of these guys get all screwed up. Oh well. That's going to be close enough to what it is. Okay. These guys are activating now. First thing we're going to do. Um, seven or less for this disrupted. Oh, five. So this guy's no longer disrupted, but he is already a lot down. Seven or less. And that is an eight. So he stays disrupted. Now, what are we going to do here? Well, I think what we're going to do is we're going to take this M1A1 right here. Yep, we're going to take this M1A1 right there. It is going to attack this guy right here. So he will get three dice. They will hit on fours. Um, and then... He'll get one defensive dice, and one hit will be automatically. So we got one hit, and then we, we do have a save. So that was um, not good on that one. So that one is also ops complete. This guy can't see, but I'm gonna, I think I'm going to bring him up here. So up the hill, uh, hill plus one. So this is clear terrain though. So this is going to be two right here. We're going to see if this guy is going to fire here. So yeah, we're going to see. He's got a range of one. So this would be a blue one. Nope. Okay, so that's two. Oh, wait a second. He's disrupted. What am I doing? He can't do anything. He's disrupted. What was I thinking? Um, this guy, though. So he's going to go two and then four. And then that would be for that one. So he is now ops complete. I am running low on ops complete markers here. A couple left here. Okay, then we got this guy. 
So this guy right here. I mean, what is that? Oh, that's at 50. Let's get a range of four. This one I should see if he can, because he can fire here. Yep. So he could see him there. So let's see if this guy actually gets fired. Uh, fire. Yep. Okay. So he's going to fire. He gets uh, two dice. Range of four. Because it's. And it's one, two, three. Yep. And this guy gets three dice and saves on sixes. Okay, it looks like five. He gets a five. So he gets one hit. So this guy is disrupted. And I do need to roll four later. Oh, it's a one. So he does get flipped. That's not good for that HQ. Um, and this guy is now marked up as complete. This guy's going to move here. Totally forgot that I had my 88 here. So we're going to see if... So that 88 has range of 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we're looking at the yellow. Fire. Yep. Oh, that's a fire closest vehicle. So no, he doesn't go there. So that's 2, 4. He can still... Nope. That blocks him. So he can't not fire on that one. He could have seen if he could have fired on that one. But he is now ops complete as well. Okay. So that activation done. Next one. Ah, it's the P-47. So he's going to fly in. He's going to try to take out this AA right here. Or this uh, 88. Um... But there is this uh, 20 millimeter flak. He gets to go first. So that's two dice. So two dice. Hits on fives. Uh, the P47 gets three, because he's in armored. Gets three dice to saves on fives. So one hit, one save, no problem. So that's good to go there. Um, and then I need to check something real quick. So now I need to roll 1d6 to see if he's on target. Uh, a 5, a 3 to 5 hits the target hex. And it goes for the hex, not particularly the unit. And so he gets to get, how many dice is it? Four dice and hits on fours. Okay, four dice hits on fours. Ooh, one, two, three dice. Three hits. And I have to... Number of equal defensive dice. Apply hits. If the X has two units, receives one hits, randomly determine which takes the second hit. So there are two units. So they're both going to be disrupted now we got to see um so it's going to be one to three is the infantry four to six is the 88 six yes that was the one i was hoping because then he gets flipped over oh yeah so he's done so this 88 gets destroyed which is good oh wait no he doesn't he he's i've got his Reduced unit right there. So his 88 gets destroyed. Uh, or not destroyed. But hurt. Okay. So now I do have to. Um, roll to see if uh, he 
uh, is out of ammo basically or if uh, so once it's done uh, once uh, yeah one to six so we got three hits if the result is greater than a number rolled it goes back so if I get a four five or six he goes back in oh I got a five so he does go back in that's pretty awesome so he gets to be back inside the um, he gets to go back in the cup which is pretty cool so I get to use him again well, you know what I'm actually okay with putting these down here now you guys can see who's activated now I got two cards left and to see what happens. Let's see, does the Germans get to activate or do we the end the turn? Ah, we end the turn. So that's actually really cool. So uh, we're all even. So let me go ahead and uh, get all the um, counters cleared off and we can go through uh, what we've got done. Okay, so I have actually... Um, Removed all the Ops Complete markers, and we're looking pretty good. We've got the armor coming in from, so this is north, I think that's the way it's set up. Uh, yeah, so this is north, so they're coming in from uh, the northeast, and I've got the infantry coming in from the northwest. Uh, looking really good. Um, we are now on turn three, which in this case, on turn three... The Americans get uh, a 57 anti-tank and another uh, or and an 88 millimeter mortar. So we'll put. I'm going to put those. Um, they're going to go. I'm going to put them right here for right now. They're that way. They're out of the way. But they will go into uh, anywhere on adjacent B checks, and I can start using them next turn when they get activated when they're when they get activated so with that i'm gonna let you guys go and uh that was turn two uh, get on to turn three here pretty soon having a blast with this um the uh solo cards are making it a lot easier uh for the um opportunity fire and we'll see what happens um oh i did that wrong so this guy's got to go in here but I need at the end one enter marker there. So, and I'll, I'll shuffle these up now, but we'll shuffle them up um, before, uh, before we start turn three, just so you guys can see that I don't, I don't have them cheating anywhere. Well, with that, I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Um, if I did, if I missed anything, um, I know these counters blew up. I put them at where I roughly, I thought they were, um, uh, whether they are or not, I, I'm okay with that. <laughs> it happens. Um, so we're good to go with that. I'll talk to you later. Bye.